Welcome to my lecture online. If we're now going to take a look at circuits using the Kirchhoff voltage laws, how do we deal with mutual inductance? Well, we do it as follows. Let's say we have two circuits that are coupled together through mutual inductance. Notice that they have the same, um, what we call coupling on the same side of the inductor, so that there is a mutual aid in the coupling. And then we can see that if we go around the circuit and we add all the voltages, that the voltage across the voltage source must be equal to all the voltage drops. Notice we have a voltage drop across the resistor, we have a voltage drop across the inductor, so that'll be I times R plus the self inductance times DI DT, but we also have a voltage drop due to the mutual inductance between the two inductors, so we add an additional term, the mutual inductance times the rate of change of the current in the other circuit with respect to time. So you can see that there's one additional term that we need to add to the total voltage as we go around the loop. Same when we go around the second circuit, notice that's going to be the sum of the voltage drop across the resistor, the voltage drop across the inductor due to self-inductance, plus the voltage drop across the inductor due to the mutual inductance. And that, of course, since the coupling here is the same on the same side of the inductor, we must add the term. If the dots are on opposite sides, then of course we're going to subtract these two terms. And notice these are the equations that we use in the time domain. If we now want to write the equations in the frequency domain, notice that the voltage across the entire circuit as we go around is going to be equal to R plus J omega L. That would be the normal voltage drop across this with the time phasing between the voltage and the current indicating it like this, but we have to add the additional term caused by the coupling of the second inductor in the other circuit. So there we're going to have a J omega M instead of a J omega L. So it's going to be J omega times mutual inductance times the current in the other circuit, which is going to add to the voltage drop in this circuit right here. And the same for the second circuit in the frequency domain. Notice that the voltage drop across the across the voltage supply is going to be equal to the sum of voltage, voltage drops across the resistor and the inductor, but also caused by the mutual inductance by the other circuit, so it's J omega M times the current in the first circuit, which will also be affecting the second circuit. So you can see that if you use KVL on mutually coupled circuits, you have to include the term that's caused by the mutual inductance. We add the term if the coupling is the same, we subtract the term when the coupling is on the opposite side of the inductor. And that is how it's done.